Today's video is sponsored by Ritual. More on them later on in the video. I'm preparing my 10 item capsule wardrobe for fall and deciding what is going to stay and what has got to go. Hello everyone, Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I'm going to be going through my 10 item capsule wardrobe in today's video. We are going to look at what is going to be coming back for fall and I have several pieces that need to go and we're going to go over that right now. Now some of you might be thinking it is too early to start thinking about fall. We still have a few weeks out until September comes. But when you do the 10 item capsule wardrobe and you are intentional about your style, you do have to do a bit of forward planning. Now is the time to figure out what you're going to get rid of if you didn't do that already uh, when you were putting your wardrobe away. As you decide what you're going to keep for your fall wardrobe, it will also become more clear to you what you need to purchase for your wardrobe or what changes you need to make as you go into fall. This intentionality is really going to make your style crystallize. That's a good way to look at it. It's going to really come into fruition for you. So let's go through my fall wardrobe right now. Okay, so as you know, I like to keep my out of season clothes in storage bins. This works for me because of my closet. I have a walk-in closet and there's a lot of shelving on top and it just helps to get it all up and out of the way. I don't like to store each season next to each other because I find that to be confusing and I like to make my closet look like a chic boutique for the season. It helps me to get dressed every morning. So I have my fall clothes in a storage bin like this. And you know, it's really fun when you do this to pull out the bin when you're preparing for the upcoming season. It feels like you're shopping again and you are reacquainted with old favorites and you can try them on and see how you look one year later in your clothes. And it's really fun. So I highly recommend, even if you don't do the 10 item wardrobe, to do this. Store away your out of season clothing and then when you bring it back, uh, it's really fun to go through everything. I've already gone through everything and, and tried it on so that I wouldn't be rambling in this video and like kind of discovering along with you. I could just tell you what is going to stay and what is going to go. If you've been following my channel over the past year, you know that I did have a large weight loss due to intermittent fasting and wanting to get rid of the baby weight after having four children. So this has affected my wardrobe and um, there's no use pretending that it hasn't. A lot of my clothing simply does not look good on me anymore. It hangs too much, it's too large. Some of the pieces are really old, so they're looking stretched and worn. Now it's good at the end of the season if you're not sure what to get rid of, just pack it away and then when you bring it out a year later, it might look sad and worn to you and you know that you just have to get rid of it. So let's start off uh, at the very top. I wanna to start off with this J. Jill wrap dress. And this dress was an incredible find. I absolutely loved this dress and um, it is a perfect neutral. So it's in this lovely charcoal gray. And what I loved about this dress was that it was so easy to accessorize and fun to wear. This dress will not be returning this fall. It is way too big for me. It's sagging and it didn't hold its shape. I have had it for two years now, so it did really well. Uh, it's not a commentary on the quality but I did lose weight and the dress is simply too big. So this is definitely going to be donated because it will still look beautiful on someone else. Let's talk about the Everlane dress. This also was used by me for two years and I could have still worn it this season. However, it is just too big. It was already big on me last season, but now it's just comically big and I could get it altered. However, it would be a huge altering and it would be quite costly. So I've decided to donate this and somebody else can enjoy this dress because it's still beautiful. Um, but you can see the top portion is very large and it's, uh, you know, it has a few inches out there. It's just overall too big on me and I'm going to donate it. Now, funny enough, when I did my colors, this was like the big no-no color for me. <laughs> but I love this color. I love this rusty fall color. I think it looks great, I don't know, uh, and I like it. So I'm interested in finding uh, something similar again for fall this year. The Draper James Chambray Shift Dress. This is another great dress and I'm looking forward to donating it so somebody else can enjoy it because it's still in great condition. Uh, but again, it's too boxy, it's too big on me and it just doesn't fit. So I'm going to be donating that dress. 
I'm going to break away for one minute to tell you about Ritual, who kindly sponsored today's video. And they are an excellent sponsor here on The Daily Connoisseur. I've been using their vitamins for over a year and a half. I love them, they are so excellent. My favorite thing about the vitamins is the mint essence. There's a little tab in the case and it makes the vitamins so pleasant to take. The capsules have a delayed release, which is gentle on your stomach. You know that I do intermittent fasting, so I do take the capsules uh, sometimes during my eating period or sometimes even during my fasting period. Either way, it's very gentle on my stomach. I take the women's multivitamin 18 plus, but they also have a bunch of different ones. They have them for uh, women 50 plus, they have prenatal, postnatal vitamins, they have vitamins for men, they have vitamins for teens, and even for kids. So they have something for everyone in the family. Ritual is offering the Daily Connoisseur audience 10% off your first three months when you use my link and code in the description box. Thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. Okay, you're probably thinking, Jennifer, what are you keeping? I am keeping several things, okay? <laughs> So number one was this plaid skirt, which was a huge find and a great win for me. I found this on Amazon. This was a budget skirt. I love this for fall. I think that these are fall colors. And last season I wore it so regularly and I just retired it the day after Thanksgiving, which is my plan this year as well. And I love this full skirt. It's so elegant and beautiful. And while it is a little large at the waist, it's not too large. I'm able to uh, conceal that and I could wear this with sweaters and um, a blouse. So I'm looking forward to bringing this back for this year. This is the Velvet by Graham and Spencer plaid dress that I have had for over two years now. This would be the third year. I am bringing this back. I adore this dress. It reminds me of the Duchess of Cambridge, something that she would wear and it still looks great. This will probably be the last year though that I have this dress because I have worn this heavily now for, um, well, this will be the third year. So this dress also goes really well into the Christmas season and then I tend to retire this after Christmas uh, and then bring out wintry clothes. But after Christmas, I don't feel like wearing this, but this is beautiful for fall all the way up to the Christmas season. Here you see me styling it with the sky blue trench coat and this gorgeous Smithson bag. This bag was a gift from my in-laws. It's so beautiful. And um, this is the second year I've used it. So you can see how, how beautiful this look is. I love all of the colors. I can't wait to wear this dress again. And while it's no longer available, I will leave Velvet by Graham and Spencer linked down below. A style hack I'd like to point out as well is that this trench coat by Sky can also be used as a dress. Now, of course, I would wear something underneath this because this is in fact a coat, but when it's buttoned up all the way and the tie is used, it is very ladylike and looks like a gorgeous structured dress. This is a very chic Parisian look. So I have this uh, with the Teddy Blake bag, for example. And what a fantastic ladylike look. If you're out in the city all day, if it's raining, if you need to walk around, you can um, close this off. You can style this in a way that this looks like a dress as well. I noticed this is a style tactic of the Duchess of Cambridge. She often wears coats that look like they are also dresses. Many of you will remember this jumpsuit from Velvet by Graham and Spencer. It is a corduroy jumpsuit that I used last winter and this is definitely returning for fall. I love this jumpsuit. It's a little bit large, but I atone for it by rolling up the sleeves. And it also has this cinched waist here, which is handy because I can adjust that as needed. And it's a very relaxed jumpsuit. I enjoy wearing these on casual days when I have to do a lot of physical work or if I'm going to the park or just any time really, because you know how much I love my jumpsuits. So this is definitely coming in for fall. And I would like to add another jumpsuit to my list too. I'm looking at Outer Known. If they come out with a long sleeve jumpsuit that's finally in stock, because they're always out of stock, uh, I would love to add something like that to my wardrobe. So this is what I'm wearing for fall. Let's talk about the Velvet Houndstooth dress by Sky. This was an addition in last year's wardrobe. Uh, this is an oversized dress anyway, and it was on me. What I'm planned to do with this dress is to keep it and wear it around the holiday season. That velvet houndstooth is perfect for around Christmas time and in the dark of winter. I'm not going to be wearing it that much this fall, so I'm going to keep it and um, include it in my winter wardrobe when I'm kind of getting tired of fall and I wanna switch things up a little bit. Maybe this will replace the plaid skirt, for example. So uh, it's still a beautiful dress and I love 
how I look in black. I really like wearing black. So I do have a black dress that I'm eyeing for fall and um, I can't wait to show that to you when it finally arrives. I'm going to carefully consider the pants and jeans situation. I do need a pair of jeans that is darker for the fall and I loved the black um, Lulu's trouser pant that I had for spring. I'm wondering if I'm going to do something like that for fall or if I'm going to go with a different trouser, but I am looking into it. As far as sweaters go, I'm still going to be using my gorgeous Everlane camel cashmere sweater. And then Mercy is such an excellent resource. I absolutely love them. This was my favorite sweater from Mercy. This is the Lisbon travel sweater, I believe. And this color is so beautiful. I love it. So this is definitely coming back and I can't wait to wear that again. Remember sweaters are in your extras. Let's talk about some more extras. So my friend Jun Hee, uh, who is the designer and the owner of Monkiji. And they are gorgeous silk scarves designed in Paris. And Jun Hee sends me a scarf each season and I absolutely love her for it. So this is one from her fall collection, this gorgeous butterfly scarf. So I look forward to wearing this with cashmere sweaters or even perhaps a silk top. So yes, I will leave Monkiji linked down below. Let's talk about shoes. I cannot wait to get back into my boots. <laughs> my favorite boots of all time are the Captain Boot by the Thursday Boot Company. These boots exude Victorian charm and edginess. I absolutely love them. They are so high quality, they will last forever. I have two shades, the Old English, which is that gorgeous dark brown shade, and also the black leather. It's like a matted leather. And I can't wait to wear these this fall. I absolutely love them. Uh, I also plan on having a pair of Oliver Cabell mules because those are really fantastic in Southern California. It's still pretty hot all throughout the fall, but yet I don't necessarily want to show my toes. You know, I want to feel like it's fall. So that is a good alternative because it, it shows half of your foot. Let's talk about handbags. I feel like I mainly have handbags for fall and winter. I feel like the majority of my handbags fall into that category, so I have a lot to choose from. This is my favorite handbag for fall and winter, and this is the Smithson. I believe it's the Panama Moon Bag. Um, and this was given to me by my in-laws. It is the most gorgeous bag. They gave it to me a while ago, so I used this last season as well. And it is such a high quality, unique bag. I think it's so elegant. So I do look forward to using this again in fall, winter. I love Smyson, everything by Smyson. They're stationary, they're notepads, they're handbags. So I'll leave them linked down below. I will also be using the Toco Toscano bag and this is excellent for fall colors. So how lovely would this be with a pair of jeans and a camel cashmere sweater? and some loafers. It's just a classic, slightly preppy look, and I love it. Of course, my trusty Louis Vuitton Totally MM, which has seen so much <laughs> in its long life, but it still is amazing. I mean, these bags really are high quality. This is over 10 years old, and I use it all year long heavily. So I know some of you asked for a review of this bag, and I can do that, but this is a wonderful bag for fall, especially just because of the colors. And finally, the Teddy Blake bag. This is the one I've been using all week, so all of my things are in it, but this is such a gorgeous bag. I love how it looks. It's just, um, it's just beautiful, and it's great color. This gray for fall and winter would look really chic with black and um, I look forward to using this uh, this season. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that it gave you motivation to go through your wardrobe for the upcoming season. The brands that I'm going to be looking at for the upcoming season are some of my absolute favorites. Sky, Rungali, Karina Dresses, Mercy. These are my favorite brands that I'm so delighted to have discovered through doing this channel. So I will take you along with me every step of the way. I can't wait for fall fashion. I absolutely love it. I hope this video gave you inspiration to go through your own 10 item capsule wardrobe and decide what is going to stay, what is going to go. How do you want your style to look this upcoming season? These are the preliminary steps. You don't have to do everything in one day. As you saw today, I pretty much decided what was going to stay, what was going to go, and looked at a few accessories 
and what I was going to be using them for. And that's the perfect thing. Now, as fall clothing starts to come out, you can start to look and see what's going to be your plan for the upcoming season. Thank you for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur, and thank you to Ritual Vitamins for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use my link and code to get 10% off your first three months when you use my link and code in the description box. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.